was, it, it, was, uh, it was a very physical game. Um, you know, I was much happier with her uh, with her effort on the boards, and I thought we got in there did a really good job uh, helping the three in the first half. Uh, they got eight total. Um, you know, we go out and get 11, and, I, you know, I thought we battled, and, you know, we talked a lot about that the last couple of days, about, you know, trying to find a way to get extra possessions ourselves, you know, similar to what Northern Iowa did uh, the other the other night against us. And, you know, we, we battled them. That's, that's a good team. That's a very well-coached team, and, and uh, you know, they really they really get after it. And, you know, they, they played well. They came in here. Uh, they had, a, I think, a disappointing week down at uh, Old Spice at the uh, Orlando tournament, and, you know, I think they learned a lot about themselves. You know, we we had the game plan, you know, what, what they were going to do, and I thought we got stuck on some picks early and allowed them to, uh, you know, to get some open threes. I uh, thought we did a much better job, um, you know, for those uh, those first seven, eight minutes as far as getting into them. <clears throat> in the second half, I, you know, I, I just, it's, it's beyond me how you can't come out there with it. Like Jake talked about, that killer instinct <clears throat> for the entire game. You know, you got to go out there and, and control it the first five minutes of that second half. You know, we had a lead. We did a great job getting back in the game and taking a lead at halftime. You know, we just didn't come out with any urgency at the uh, at the beginning of the second half. No, that was a disappointing thing to me. And then, we, you know, I thought we finished off, really did a good job executing some new stuff that we put in, uh, that we put in, and, uh, you know, just couldn't make the plays on the stretch to win. Is that what you learned from these two games? <clears throat> you need to find that, you know, the full 40 minutes, have that killers and get the entire way? Yeah, you do. I mean, every, every night. I, you know, I thought we had effort in, uh, at Northern Iowa the other night. We just, you know, just didn't have the toughness, I, I didn't think. You know, and I thought we, we competed better as far as that, as far as toughness. We just, you know, that lull we had to open up the second half. You know, Randy, like you said, we, you know, we're empty. A lot of those possessions and just, you know, careless thing, careless turnovers, which I think was the difference in the game tonight. You know, we forced a lot in them, but, you know, just had some careless turnovers that, uh, you know, you got to find a way to at least get a shot up on the board and give yourself a chance. Talk about about Rayleigh, what he what he did do for you there. Yeah, you know I'm really proud of the way Jordan's played the last uh, last two games. Um, he was great minutes the other night at Northern Iowa. Uh, you know then Jamie gets the two quick fouls tonight. Or, I'm sorry this afternoon, and he came in and gave us really good minutes. I thought Calvin went out and gave us good minutes. He went out and played hard. I thought Boo Boo gave us good minutes. I thought our bench uh, was was very active tonight. And you know Jordan really has grown. I mean he came into this thing with a lot of body fat. And he's worked his tail off in the weight room and, uh, you know, gets after it every day uh, on the practice floor. He's usually practiced about 45 minutes before, getting a good hard workout and uh, getting in extra lifting sessions with, uh, with Coach Moser. So he's, you know, he's really grown. And, you know, the kid with his body, you know, we're going to need him uh, to go out and play major minutes for us once the Big 12 starts. You're going to need Jamie to, to cut out the, the kind of... Too. Yeah, and you know, I told him you got to be smarter in that one. You know, got to let the kid go when he's uh, when he came in and to get his fourth. You know, with about 11 minutes left. Um, you know, I I thought it was gonna be a big big game for Jamie. You know, he went out and hit his first one. Um, you know, hit a couple turnarounds in the post, and you know, just foul troubles really limited him today. The so Jake was was making both free throws. <laughs> yeah, wanted to make both, and then we were gonna try to get uh, you know we had Boo Boo at the scorers table to get him in to uh, you know to set up the press. And try to get either a quick steal or you know hope they miss one. You know, and then I, I, I felt you know four and a half seconds was enough to come down and get a quality shot uh, at the end. How tough is it for you guys to press? I mean, you haven't done it a whole lot. Yeah, we're, we're not uh, not a big pressing team. Um, you know, but when they threw it in there, yeah. you know Gutierrez dribbled out of it. Um, you know, we had a, had a foul and we were going to try to get that quick trap, but we just couldn't deny him the ball. Uh, Melvin almost got a, a fingertip on it, but you know they, they did a good job executing and got. The, Ball in the right player's hands. Once you get a little depth, that'll be your, your no question. Yeah, you know, we just don't have the depth right now to be able to, to press as much as we'd like to. Coach, what do you think your team has learned about themselves this week? Well, you know, I I think Jake said it best. You know, we got to learn to go out and play with urgency for 40 minutes. You know, it's not a 35 minute game. If you if you play that way against teams like this, you're going to come up on the short end. Uh, you got to find a way to battle uh, consistently for the entire game. You know, they're a big, strong, physical team, and, you know, we took them out of some things uh, they wanted to do. But, you know, you gotta, you got to find a way to play all 40 minutes.